Hi, Brent Tech here. Where Tech is made simple. Windows 10 Update KB5010415 is now available and started rolling out on the 15th of February 2022. Now this is an optional non-security bug fix update, also known as a preview update. And if you don't decide to install this update now, most of these improvements and bug fixes will be carried over and rolled out in next month, March 2022's compulsory automatic cumulative update. Now, if you are running Windows 10 version 21H2, which is the latest stable version of Windows 10, your OS build will be pushed up to 19044.1566 after applying this update. If you are running 21H1, that'll be 19043. And if you are still running 20H2, that'll be 19042. And just a side note regarding 20H2, that the end of life and support will be reached in just under three months time in May. So if you are still running that version of Windows 10, it's maybe time to start thinking of upgrading to a later version. And I have mentioned this in a previous video as well. Now, as mentioned, this is a bug fix update and carries numerous uh, uh, bug fixes to issues in the Windows 10 operating system. But there are actually two new little add-ons and features that have rolled out as well in this latest update. And the first is you now have the ability to share cookies between Microsoft Edge Internet Explorer mode and the Edge browser. And that also rolled out for Windows 11. And also there was an issue that caused Microsoft Edge Internet Explorer mode to stop working when you press the F1 key. And also another Edge related issue has been addressed where there was an issue that affected the dialog boxes uh, in Edge and, and the Internet Explorer mode. And then also if you are using a screen reader and um, it updates an issue that causes screen readers to describe a back button as just button rather than the actual back button and then a uh, input method editor uh, issue has been resolved that uh, sometimes caused the Chinese simplified IME to become completely unusable and then there's also just another little new add-on to um, mention as well um, and that's regarding uh, NVMe that's non-volatile memory and you now have added support for hot adding and the removal of non-volatile memory NVMe namespaces so that's some of the key highlights and as always if you'd like to see if you have this optional update just head over to your settings menu update and security and if you check for updates it'll appear as an optional update and I always mention with these optional updates only download the optional updates in Windows 10 if you are experiencing any issues with your operating system. If you are happy the way it's running, everything's stable, just rather leave the update alone. And then uh, once you have, in, if you decide to install the update, once the update is installed, you can just head over to view update history. And if you just scroll down to other updates, that's where the update will be listed. And here we have a cumulative update preview for Windows 10 21H2 KB5010415. Now, just to mention some other little issues that have been addressed that might be of interest. Um, apparently, the Windows Search, Microsoft has uh, fixed an issue that affected uh, the Windows Search. And also, um, an issue has been fixed um, in the Task Manager where it was unable to correctly display the startup impact values such as low, medium, and high. And also, um, a bug has been fixed um, where OpenGL and GPU, that's graphics processing units, cause issues in certain display scenarios and then there's also a fix uh, if you are trying to upgrade to Windows 11 um, but you are running into issues when you check your TPM status using get TPM PowerShell that now apparently has been addressed so that's just a couple of the key highlights um, in this latest update KB5010415 which is an optional update to the Windows 10 operating system and also includes those two new little, new little minor add-on features to Windows 10 as well. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.